Hey guys, welcome back to more Fallout 4. We are playing the Far Harbor DLC and we're on our way there by ourselves because Nick has decided not to appear anywhere. And there's a truck stop up there. Cool. Oh, is this it? I'm guessing this is Far Harbor. It does look very cold though. It's a good thing I've got my silver shroud jacket on. And those are funny looking lamps. People, they're here to greet me. Oh god, hello Nick. Decided to actually appear, did you? Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. Do your here. business and get gone. We don't need no freeloaders or more. So you can get back in your boat and leave. You know what? Right. Oh. Alan's got a point. Not she was about to go off on him. Intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? Um, I'm looking for someone. A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Yep. Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Is something happening? Mariners incoming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Okay. I have no idea what's going on, but apparently this place is under attack by something. Man the hall. Something's out there. This ain't a drill. What was that? Ooh, person. The gate. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Who? Who are coming? God. Defend yourselves. Oh, I'm guessing whatever they are. Gulpa. What the hell is a gulpa? giant frogs like there's one from Resident Evil who kept eating me Wait, what? Oh shit! More! Okay, they... an angler! They've got lights! And he just spat at me, rude. What the hell are these things? An angler? Is that like an angel fish or something? And we saved all those people. Yeah. You're welcome. Appreciate the help. We're all still in one piece. Can't hardly believe it. Aver and the others were just doing their jobs, but you, you ain't one of us. We owe you. And harbormen pay their debts. Here. What were you doing out there? Scrapping. Picking over the old ruins. Avery wanted more rebar to shore up the hull. More wire for the condensers. We put our necks on the line for this town. And what do they do? They shut us out. Leave us to die. 
Damn them. Damn this fog. Damn this whole island. I'm heading back to the mainland. Far Harbor can fend for itself. Fair enough. You, you owe me some answers. Avery, and now you see what we're up against. Yeah, some lizard things. Fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. An island? We're on an island. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes, and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. People have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? Uh -huh. But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog thrive you think what attacked the harbor's bad oh there's far worse further inland hmm if you manage to survive despite all that <laughs> look at nick in the background <laughs> ornery more like i just i'm done cowering behind your damned hull avery it's time you let me deal with the real problem with the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for Children good. of Atom? The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. They worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That Stupid Alan. Came out of the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do? What did he do to the preacher? Yeah. Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And there could the be some sort of explanation for it. Only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? Mm -hmm. She headed inland to the synth refuge. Acadia. Get in Acadia. there. Acadia. Dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. Okay. But people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Okay. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The bar. Last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Huh. The mainlander. What is your problem? Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. I'm just trying to help you now. Hey, buddy. I was just trying to help. Charity makes you weak. Makes you need it more and more. Until you're starving. 
from the lack of it. What happens next time when you ain't here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam are worse, get you. What's your problem with the children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. They haven't really been a problem for me in the game. You've only seen them in two places. And they were in a, they were only hostile in one place, so strong enough to push us all out of our homesteads. Further and further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. You have any proof that they've fed the pog? Proof? We wait for that and we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Look, in my daddy's time, the fog was a nuisance. Something you avoided. Now every day it gets stronger. It's like the fire's a hell out there. Because of the children. Yeah, okay, bye. Where did that woman go? Oh, oh, this just takes us back here. Okay. Ah, oh, there you are, having a nap. Captain? You got anything else to say? I hope the harbor's being good to you. At this point, I'd settle if folks were just plain civil. What's there to do in town? Brooks sells general goods. Teddy writes in back of his shop, and he can patch you up if you need it. Besides that, the last plank's a popular stop for booze and what have you. And lastly, well, if you need a gun, see Alan Lee. That asshole. What's the history of this place? Well, this whole dock used to belong to the Mariner, and the fog started getting thicker. Family by family, homestead by homestead. People were kicked out of their homes inland. The Mariner was kind enough to let people stay. The harbor just kind of grew out of that charity. Do you know of anyone who could use some help? It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, uh, I know yeah, you're sure. Than you look. What do you want? What exactly do you need help with? We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Meyer Lurks hit us. I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf, unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. Um, yeah, okay. All right, I'll head out there next. What is a fog condenser, though? Our water supply won't last much longer. Avery. I hope the harbor's being good to you. Um. Oh God, where are we? You ain't on. You ain't long for this deal. The hull took a battering. To be sure, but she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner, shipwright, handyman, and the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to... She kind of looks like Velma from Scooby-Doo. if you can, though. Um... <clears throat> yeah, okay. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. You need it? Make shop's got it. Wait, what's that? A report from PV. The 
home needs mending. You know, it just don't build itself. I mean, okay. also wood, steel, nails. Who are you? Excuse me. Welcome to the big shop. If you need any odds and ends, you know I'm your man. What's your story? Just a guy trying to make a few caps. Speaking of which, buying anything? Um, what you got? Let's see what you have. Here's what I got. Hmm, nothing much. Tell you what. Only Alan's got enough backbone to stand up to the children. Sandra, talk with Alan. I don't have time for you. Wow, what a bitch. <clears throat> Teddy, who's Teddy? You know another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. The I don't even know who Andre is. Drive us into the ocean. Are you Andre? You know when I'm no. feeling down. A little calmer, so oh no, it's, isn't that the captain? What about you, Cassie? I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. Who's that? It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Tell me about Sounds it. Sounds interesting. I'd, I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, the Daltons, Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Okay, you mean me? Wait, are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sicked some feral ghouls on him. A sneaky bastard when it was. And you want me anyway, to kill them? He made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Those fools are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Uh huh. Okay. So, the children of the atom might be behind this fog increase, which would be interesting because they haven't had a role in this game really, not a big one anyway. I don't think we've had any quests or anything to do with them. Saw flickering lights by Eden Meadows. Well, hello. Mm. Okay, he looks a bit out of sorts. So, is this the bar? The last plank. Hello. Talk to Mitch, the last plank. What do you have to drink? All sorts of old world booze. 
We carry Vim, too. And before you ask, Vim is an islander's favorite. But it may pack more punch than the stuff you're used to. No thanks. Mitch. Hello, Mitch. Uh, why? What's the catch? Not a catch to be found. A full bar ain't no use to a corpse. So, drink up. Stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? What's so special about the fog on the island? Can you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's alive. You walk inland. Up in no time. Click, click of the Geiger will get you. The madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. It causes madness? The fog can drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. But many just got lost in the fog for too long. You have any sense? Return where you came from, and don't look back. Why were you so here? Dangerous. Why do you stay? This is our home. If you call yourself a proper man or woman, you don't give up on that. Besides, we all gotta die. Might as well do it with your long night deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. Um, give me a room. I'd like to rent a room. It's up the stairs. Cheers. Oh, cat. Hello. Meow. I'm guessing you're the guy I have to talk to. Note. Yeah. Time to party. Free drinks. Okay, let's go talk to that guy and then we'll end the episode. Yo. Oh, what's that? Cool. <laughs> Stupid cat. Meow. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia? Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leaving people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk. Call themselves sins. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, live their life in peace. They've done some good things for us, I mean. The fog condensers, most especially. Ah, they so they built them. Far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers are a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellas got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Trust me. I've done a whole lot more. For a whole lot less. Clever word. I can get you to Acadia, but you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Okay. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or two. Worse than my awaits out there. I need to take care of a few things. Handle your necessities, then off. Okay. We're the only bar in town. 
Well, it's not a very big town. You don't even have a hospital. But you have a bar. Priorities. Yeah, did they have a doctor? Probably somewhere. So we'll do that. We'll talk to that guy and start that quest in the beginning of the next episode. I just want to have a quick look around, see if there's anything else. Hmm, there's a house out there. Children of Adam. How big is this place? Whoa. Okay, this is a big area. In any case, I'll end the episode there. So make sure to like and subscribe, I love you all, and I hope I see you in more Fallout 4. Bye!